All right, how do you make your ex miss you? Now I've seen videos from other coaches on this and to be honest with you, I didn't like the question and I didn't agree with their answers. Games and manipulation. Show up with another guy. Have great post breakup sex. Be intentionally mysterious. I don't coach any of that. But then I realized something. What I coach is gonna make your ex miss you more than any games or strategy ever could. So in this video, I'm talking about how to make your ex miss you for all the right reasons. I'll see you around the corner. Okay, so you want your ex to miss you. Now this is a completely normal reaction to a breakup. I think we all have this and we all, especially when our heart is broken, we want our ex to miss us and to feel some of the same pain that we're going through. But what I want for you ladies is to make sure it's coming from the right place because if you're just thinking about how to make your ex miss you, all you're doing is investing time and thought and effort into them that they're no longer investing into you. And one of the biggest philosophies of my coaching is to invest in people who invest in you. So the question of how to make your ex miss you is not the one that I primarily want you to answer because it's not the best way of going about it. You can do strategies and that'll work for a little bit, but it's coming from the wrong place. If you want your ex to miss you in the most powerful way possible, it comes as a secondary. It comes as a secondary to you working on yourself and being the highest value shining woman you can be. Now, how do you do that after a breakup? Well, counterintuitively, the first way that your ex is going to massively miss you after a breakup is if you act through the breakup process as the high value self-respecting woman that you are. That means accepting the breakup and thanking him. Now, I know that sounds completely counterintuitive, but most women, what they do during a breakup is they try and fight. They try and claw to get back the person, logically convince him that the two of you were perfect together. Instead, if you say, look, well, I'm devastated, but I can accept your decision. Thank you. And you turn around and you walk out of his life. Metaphorically, that man is left without your light on him. He's left in that darkness. And it's not because you tried to leave him in darkness. It's because you had the self-respect to walk away. And for the next weeks and months, he's standing there wondering if he did the right thing by letting this high value woman go. Now the next thing, number two, is limited contact. Now it's not full no contact. Full no contact is when you wanna get over a guy and you wanna put a guy really behind you. If you're going limited contact, it's not necessarily that you wanna put the guy fully behind you, it's just that you're moving on with your high value life in your own way. So for example, limited contact means that he can still send you a message. He might say, hey, how are you? And you could say, yeah, I've been great, how are you? And he's like, yeah, I'm good too. But that's probably gonna be the end of the conversation. With limited contact, you're not initiating any contact. You're letting him come to you. You're polite and respectful when he does, but you're also not pushing the conversations forward when he does. Now you've already walked away in a high value way and you've showed him that even though you were devastated, that you're not gonna force yourself or be or need to be with someone who doesn't wanna be with you. And now you're still responding to his contact and you're still being friendly, polite, but he misses the relationship interaction and he misses the girlfriend experience that he used to get with you. Now that's going to other people or other men. You're treating him like a friend rather than a flame. And it's that little difference because you're going off and, and you're living in your own world and you've downgraded his priority that has the secondary effect of making him miss you like you wouldn't believe. The other important thing with limited contact is you do not, under any circumstances, want to get into shit fights, arguments, or disagreements. You're being positive, you're being respectful, and if the conversation doesn't go that way, you just end it in a polite and respectful way. I'll talk to you soon. All the best, smiley face. You don't want to be getting into a relationship shit fight with him at this point because you've taken your emotions out. You've shown that you're not gonna invest your emotions into someone who isn't investing theirs into you, and you've mentally moved on, even though you guys can touch base as friends. The next thing you wanna do is use the time while you're going very limited contact to invest in yourself. So get a new wardrobe, get your hair redone, make yourself feel great. Set some goals, do some things that you wanted to do during the relationship but that you weren't doing. Make yourself really happy and vibrant within them. Make time for friends, prioritize all sorts of other things. And as all this is going on and you're going away and you're not initiating any contact, but you're still being polite, respectful to him if he contacts, the whole time he's wondering how. 
He's sitting there going, how is this woman so high value? Why is she not thinking about me? Why is she not trying to get back with me or organize meetups? All he's doing is getting small little points of access to you living in your own amazing world. And the most important part is you're not doing any of this to manipulate him or to play games on him. You're doing this for you and his missing you to an incredible extent is just a nice side effect. The most important thing here guys, and this is the final point, is that he has to find out about all these positive changes and wonder about them without your input. So limited contact could become no contact if he doesn't initiate for a while. But I promise you, if you walk away in a high value way and you go away and focus on yourself, he's going to wonder about you and eventually he will contact. And that's when, if he asks, you can tell him about these things. That's where he's scrolling and he's going, what's she doing? And he's checking your Facebook and you're just putting up photos of things that you like, that you're doing because they make you happy. He's gonna come across that. You naturally post a lot on Snapchat stories. So you're going to post some of the stuff that you're doing and he's probably gonna watch that. But you're not gonna send him Snapchats intentionally just to get a reaction. You're not gonna put photos on Facebook with another guy just to make him jealous. Because as soon as you start doing that, again, you're coming from the wrong place. You're investing time into a guy and effort into a guy who isn't investing in you. The high value woman does things for her own reasons because she wants to do them. And that's the way the guy is going to osmotically and naturally find out about those changes because he's going to wonder. Now, if you want to get back with him and if, if that's your goal and you may not want to three months down the line by the time you've grown yourself, but if that is your goal, eventually you can respond to his contact and say, sure, let's catch up. I'd love a drink. Or maybe you don't want to get back with him at all. Maybe you just came to this video wanting to make him miss you. Well. What you've done here and what you've done by this way of thinking is you've made him miss you in a way that is far more powerful than any games you could have done. But the important part is you didn't do it to make him miss you. You did it for a higher priority, which is for you. Coming from that priority, I guarantee you that even if he doesn't contact you and even if the initiation from him doesn't come, that guy is sitting there missing you. But you're doing it for your own reasons and that has to always come as number one. Guys, that is far and away the most powerful way to make a guy miss you. You don't need games, you don't need manipulation. The one thing you need is to shine your light and be the high value woman you are and move on with your life. Thanks so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed this way of looking at that particular topic. Uh, let me know your thoughts, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Enter your questions, comments below. Uh, I respond to every single one. So let me know how you think, what your thoughts are on this topic and if you agree or disagree. Hit the like button if you agree and make sure you subscribe on the channel if you're not already. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Be your best self and your ex is gonna miss you like you wouldn't believe. I'll see you soon.